Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. Let's take a look at this chemistry question. It says an element forms the following compounds with chlorine. Uh, this illustrates the dash law of multiple proportions, law of definite proportions, law of conservation of mass, and law of chemical proportions. In my video on chemical combination, I explained that four laws governs chemical combinations. Remember, compounds contain two or more elements combined chemically. So for them to be combined, there are laws that govern this combination. One of them is the law of conservation of mass, mass which states that in a chemical reaction, matter or mass cannot be created or destroyed in chemical reaction. If water reacts with oxygen and give, if hydrogen reacts with oxygen to give you water, the mass of water is equals the mass of hydrogen plus the mass of oxygen that reacted. While the law of definite proportion or constant composition states that uh, a sample of compound is the same everywhere. For example, water is H2O and it contains about 11.1% of hydrogen. So if you take water to US, it is still the same hydrogen and oxygen. It doesn't change and it's still in the same percentage. So that's what law of definite proportion speaks about. But the mass of each of these compounds that react with this fixed mass of the other, they are in simple multiple proportions. So look at the breakdown. This one is, has a fixed mass. Why chlorine reacts with it with different masses? So the mass of this chlorine that reacts with fixed mass of this element S are in simple multiple proportion. This means that, remember the mass of chlorine is 0.5. So the mass of chlorine that reacts with this element here is simply 35.5 times 4. The mass of chlorine that reacts with this element here is simply 35.5 times 3. The mass of chlorine that reacts with this is simply 35.5 times 3. So now, multiplying this and dividing to break down to get the simple ratio, you discover that they are in simple multiple proportions. Look at this. Sulfur can react with oxygen to form SO2 and SO3. So in this, in SO2, the mass of oxygen that reacts is 32. That's 16 times 2. In SO3, the mass of oxygen that reacted is 16 times 3. So this is 32 ratio 48. Once you divide both sides, you get 2 ratio 3. So they are in simple multiple proportions. So that is the law of uh, multiple pro uh, proportions. So this is the answer to this question. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Feel free to check out my many videos that will help you.